first video, I'm going to be telling y'all about reception at Fort Lauderdale, Missouri. First thing you're going to do, you're going to ship out. Once you make it in Missouri, you're going to go to the USO. When I got... When I got to, <laughs> when I got to the USO, it was like when you when you get to the airport, you will have trouble finding the USO. So you have to find the USO first. Once you find the USO, I was I was nervous. I was I was like, Lord, I was telling I was texting my mama, telling her like, you know, I may I might not be texting you anymore, you know. Cause I'm thinking like right whenever I make it in Missouri, it's gonna be basic training. So whenever I got to the USO, we had to sign like a waiver. It was some type of waiver that we had to sign. And we we signed the waiver. And then they told us put our bag in a corner. Well, it was like a corner full of racks. So you just put your bag in there and you can take your phone. Cause you could be sitting there like for like six hours. Cause they keep you there, especially if you make it during the day, they keep you there until like late at night. Like nine ten o'clock but you go sit there and they give you snacks like they got nachos they had chips they had drinks they had games a tv a guitar like you know and all kind of stuff like that that you can do it's like the u.s always just like for military people like that's where they go instead of sitting down like in the airport you go sit in the u.s and everything is free in there but um so you have the uso said i talked to my mom I'm like you know this is the last thing i'm gonna have that's calm that's what i said about myself I'm like next time you get off a bus or something it's gonna be hell but stay at the uso then drill sergeant came the drill sergeant came get us he never fussed he just like you know he was like line y'all up alphabetical order have y'all license and another source of identification basically and we did that and my heart was beating y'all like when i said my heart was beating my heart was beating but it's like a two hour ride from the uso to actual basic training so made it to to ride i slept and then whenever you get to the gate it's like you know the lights come on and stuff so i take my mom I'm like you know um i made it to the actual basic training area so this might be my last time talking to you till sunday because i know we get off on those sundays so she was like okay i love you you know you got this like i'm i'm like emotional because the day i left i cried like three times y'all i cried i cried but I was like, you know, I'm not gonna cry no more. Like, I'm okay. So, got to reception. I'm thinking once you get there, it's like, you know, my recruiter did all my paperwork. So, I'm just going straight into basic training, get these nine weeks over with, and finish with it. You gotta go to reception. Reception was like one of the worst things. Besides the rooks, reception was the worst part of basic training. Like, reception sucked. It was so bad. It's like, when you first get there, you get there at like 12. I lied. We got there at like 10. Cause, so they came get us at like 7. And we got there at like 10. And whenever you get there, they sit you down. You know, you still have your phone. They sit you down, they make you sign a paper, they give you an envelope to fill out, they, what else they did, they give you like a snack, like a granola bar and some orange or apple juice and a fruit, cause that's the last thing you go eat till the next morning. So, did that. We got a brief about what's contraband and what's not. They will make you empty out all your bags. I suggest you pack just like a change of clothes, travel size, personal hygiene, and what else? That's really it because they make you dump out everything you have. 
and they make you buy everything again like you gotta buy personal hygiene items again it's not an option you gotta buy seven bras for the females seven two packs of underwear um you have to buy a toothpaste you have to buy a toothbrush um what else you have to buy deodorant you have to buy a notebook like you have to buy certain stuff and i still have my notebook so um yeah but besides before i get to that part um they give you a brief on contraband because they make you go through your bags and they give you a chance to turn it in like they put you in an amnesty booth and it's like a booth where you go in and you put whatever contraband you have in your bag in the booth and you just close the little thing and you don't have it no more and they're not gonna fuss at you or nothing because they give you a chance to turn it in but if they catch you then you're gonna get in trouble for it so after we did that got back settled down and we did a two minute phone call to our parents it was scripted it's like on the board they gonna put what you say and it was like hey mom i am at reception in fort Leonard wood i am safe and you hang up the phone that part was i wouldn't say the worst or the hardest but it really it really touched like you know the fact that like I'm not gonna have my phone no more. I'm away from my mom, like, you know. So it's like, and then they had some people whose mom would never answer because they were sleeping. And like, they had people crying. So it's like, I'm already emotional. So now that you're crying, I'm gonna cry too. So it's like, it was bad. Um, they, after you did that, you empty out everything, they make you pack your bag back up. And you get like linen linen is just two flat sheets a cover or a blanket and a pillowcase and that's what you get they gave us pts which are these and a camel bag which is like your water source and that's what they gave us that night we stayed up doing a little bit of paperwork so we went to bed at like 1 30. we had to be up for four so we had like two hours of sleep because at 1 30 they had to like assign us rooms or well, assign us beds because it's just a big room full of beds and it's like a shower it's like a bathroom full of showers it's like no privacy there you have stalls but whenever you take a shower there's no privacy there um two hours of sleep that's all i got Next morning I woke up, we had breakfast. You and then you do like a they have like optometry, they have x ray, blood pressure, and dental and blood work. That's the six things you do over there and paperwork of course. Um optometry, eye exam. If you have like even a slight failure they giving you glasses they giving them to you um x-ray they just look at your body make sure like you know nothing's wrong well, nothing's majorly wrong because some people have waivers for like injuries that they had in the past and stuff like that but they just make sure nothing is major wrong. um blood pressure they check your blood pressure make sure you're healthy um what else? dental they you do a dental visit they tell you like you know if you need my work they're gonna if you need major my work they're gonna do it but if you don't they just tell you like you know oh you need to do such and such you know to avoid this from happening um and you do a hearing test yeah a hearing test um that's really it but you're there like a whole week and at reception you wake up at four o'clock in the morning go you do what you gotta do do your personal hygiene breakfast is at five you sit down in an open area and on some wooden benches from 5 30 we gonna say like after you eat breakfast till lunch after lunch you go back and sit on them same wooden benches and tell us time to go to bed you can't talk you can't 
You can't talk, you can't sleep, you can't do none of it. Um, you have to do blood work. They take six tubes of blood. I can't stand it. I hate needles. Trust me. It was not that bad. But it's like once you're in there, it's like you only, the only thing you're thinking about is like do it so you can get out of there. Like that, that's what got me through everything. Do it so you can get out. Because if it wasn't for that, I probably wouldn't know. It's a lot of stuff I would never do in my civilian life. Like, six tubes of blood, like, I would have passed out if the doctor told me they had to take six tubes of blood. But I was already there, so it was like, just do it. But they use it for, like, a drug tests. Um, like, HIV, STD, all of that. Um, what else? And they use it to test, like, the type of blood you have and if you have any blood deficiencies. So, they use it a lot. Um, what else? That's what you do. You do your paperwork. Whenever you go do paperwork, good luck. Just it's gonna be a long, long line. It's gonna be very, very long. But just make sure you have your paperwork correct because if you don't, you will be a holdover at reception. And holdovers don't get their phones. Like when you're a holdover, they mean you just over there with no purpose. Like something's not right. You either got hurt. Before you, they either found out you was hurt before you shipped out to Daisy, your paperwork not correct, or you did something bad. <sighs> but yeah, you don't want to be a hold at reception because they still wake you up at the same time. You don't get your phone. You literally sit down all day. You don't have a reason to get up. You're not going to take no test, so you're not getting up. You just sit down and read your blue book. Um. A few moments later. What else? Yeah, so make sure your paperwork is correct because you don't want to you don't want to be there. You gotta get out of there as fast as you can. Some people ship out early, like I shipped out a day early. I lie, no, I shipped out three days early because I was supposed to ship out on a Monday. I shipped out on a Friday, something like that. Um, you go in the auditorium. It's like a the Yeda. Or like, if you get there on a Thursday, they'll front load you because most of the times the civilians don't work on Saturday and Sunday. So I got there on a Thursday and I got front loaded and I had everything done by Friday. It's kind of sucks because you're just sitting there. You just, it sucks. I fell asleep standing up all morning. Because they kept us up. Because I got there at 2 a.m. on a Thursday. And, and you had to be up before. All the whole till the next Friday. No, I. I got two hours of sleep because we had paperwork. They made us stay up. Like, yeah, the we before. didn't get to sleep. They yeah. took us to the barracks and then it was wake up for you guys. Yeah, because she came after us. But she shipped out early too. Mm -hmm. But no, you don't want to be there. Trust mm -hmm. me. So just just get out. Just get out. They give you like 30,000 sharp briefs, which is like briefs about sexual harassment because if you do decide to sexually harass somebody you will get kicked out and be registered as a sex offender. you will be registered as a sex you have to sign up as a sex offender you will not be able to get another job like ever um and they just they just reiterate like they literally repeated every single chance they get so it's like it's no reason why you should know what you should and shouldn't do and at this point you're not there to find love you just there to graduate. Um, just get out of there. Like that's all. That's all I gotta say. Um, yeah, you do that. They give you. They hand out you stuff like your army uniforms, your shoes, your boots. What else they gave us? That was really it. Oh, your name tapes, your yeah. army hats. They give you all your clothing equipment at reception. And make sure you keep up with that because if you don't, you're going to just not have it for basic. And you're going to need it for basic. You're going to need it. Um, and if you lose it, whenever it comes time to turn it in at the end of your contract, you're going to have to pay out of pocket for that. So... You also take shots at the uh, 
40 30 they take you take shots and you can get like up to 10 shots yeah like, i got two only two she got two i think i got four i got four but we got lucky because we didn't have to take the penicillin shot. Oh, yeah. The peanut butter shot, the one that they take in your butt because it was out. So, if y'all are going to basic training, I don't know if y'all going to have it, but we had the pills. So, I only had to take four shots and I had to take one of the pills every week. Um, The shots, for me, wasn't that bad. And I don't like needles. Like, I do hate needles. I dread needles. Don't come around me with no needles. But the shots were not that bad. Um, they kind of like, you can feel them like, but it's like you just walk in the line and they just like, you know, give you the shots you need. You go to like station one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever. And like if you go to station one and you don't need station two, station one go tell you go to station three. And they go just like stick you. And then station three will tell you where to go. They stick you. And you're done. Um... They take you to like a troop store inside the 43rd, which is like what I told you they make y'all buy stuff. Um, so don't pack, don't pack three outfits thinking you're finna be wearing that. No, you sleep in this. You sleep in this, you work out in this. And that's just that. You know, it's up to you to clean it, you know. But that's really that. They give you ID tags too, which is like tags like these, which is like how you are identified. And it says like your name, your DOD ID number, blood type, stuff like that. Um, and not everybody get their names taped because they don't have them in time. So you literally like you might have to go to basic without them. They're not gonna hold you back for name tapes, but you just have to go to basic without them. Um, you take pictures over there for the yearbook so and then after that that was it like you know but reception was like very very boring very tiring like everybody was ready to go to reception like we had some people who didn't even want to do basic training no more because reception discouraged them but don't let that discourage you. I promise you, basic training is, like, way better. Not, like, you know, physically, because, of course, it's not going to be physically better <laughs> unless you're into that stuff. I'm not. Because, um, like, physically, you just sit down. But it's, like, it literally gets boring. Like, you cannot talk. You cannot sleep. You can't do nothing. Like, we literally had to pick weeds outside because we kept talking. And... Because they can't really do corrective training. Because you're not at basic training. You just have reception. But, yeah. Mm. That's really it, you know. At reception, the best thing you can do is stay focused. And don't lose focus. Because if you let reception get to your head... Reception is going to tear you apart. Like, reception is going to tear you apart. It gets better. Like, you're going to be doing a lot of stuff in basic training. And it's like, you know, you wouldn't even think you would be doing that in reception. Like, in reception, you're just thinking about, like, getting out of there. Like, I was happy to leave whenever I left from the 43rd. But... Y'all also get y'all cat cards, and y'all cannot smile. It's a dark picture. But me, I took mine before. So if you got an RSP, ask them to take your cat card picture before you leave. Because if not, you're going to have a messed up cat. It's going to be terrible. Like, that's really it. They took my cat card. They took it from me? Not from RSP. Why? Because I was in civilians, and I was smiling. I was smiling, why? But I wasn't in civilians. I had uh, ACUs on. Uh, that's mine. No, they took mine. I saw mine. Well, y'all better make sure y'all got an army uniform on y'all pictures. Because I smiled in mine. I smiled in mine. But they, they don't let you smile over here. It's like very, very bad lightning. Mm -hmm. Like, that's, that's it. But just stay focused. Get yourself mentally prepared for basic. 
because basic is not easy it's going to be challenging there's going to be times where you feel like you know ugh, why well, i gotta do this or i can't do this but you can it, it's not that bad they're not gonna hold you there unless you want to be held there you try you pass that's it but that's it for this video i will post another video on basic training and the different phases of basic training elaborate more on that so if you have any questions just drop them down below and then i'll answer your questions to the best of my ability